Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math on pedal algebra problem. So here we have c times of c times of c times of c equals to minus 64 and we find the value of c from here. So now here we can apply the exponent law, you know that if we have a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n, it is equals to a to the power of m plus n. And you see here all the product of C's have exponent is 1. It means that we need to add all of these exponents. So this will become 1 plus 1, 2, 3 and 4. So we get C to the power of 4 equals to minus 64. So now here uh, you see that this equation has the highest power is 4. So we need to find all these uh, 4 roots of the given equation. Okay. So it means that this equation has four roots so we can find all of these four roots uh, so here first uh, we need to move this minus 64 in the left hand side and we write this c to the power of 4 as c square and its whole square and this will become plus 64 equals to 0 and now in the next step we have c square and its whole square plus we write the 64 as 8 square equals to 0 uh, so that now here uh, you see you see here um, we can solve this problem uh, with the help of completing square uh, so now in order to complete the square here i can first write this nice formula if you have a plus b whole square it is equals to a square plus b square plus 2 times of a b so here according to this nice formula uh, we have these two terms a square plus b square here our a is c square and our b is 8 and now uh, we can uh, complete the square so in order to complete the square of this term we need this term two times of a b so that here we will just add and subtract uh, this above equation uh, by 2 times of a b so here our a is c square and b is 8 so that now we add this term on this equation so that this equation is implies that c square and its whole square plus 8 square and plus 2 times of uh, c square into 8 and minus 2 times of c square into 8 and this whole equals to 0 okay here we add this term and subtract this term as well so we have we need to first focus on the first three terms and we have a square plus b square plus two times of a b so that here we need to combine all of these terms in this completing square form so we write it as c square plus 8 and its whole square so here you have two times of 8 becomes 16 into c square equals to 0 so here we rewrite this uh, equation as c square plus 8 whole square minus we write 16 times of c square as 4 times of c and its whole square equals to 0 so here uh, we need the algebraic formula you know that if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so according to this formula we write our above equation as c square plus 8 minus 4 c into c square plus 8 plus 4 c and this whole equals to a zero so now in the next step we need to convert uh, this equation into the two cases so that our first case is we take c square minus 4c plus 8 equals to 0 and the second case is we take c square plus 4c plus 8 equals to 0 so we call this is our equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2 and now here we need to solve these two equations simultaneously uh, so from uh, so here we need to focus on equation number one so that from equation number one we have uh, c square minus 4c plus 8 equals to 0 this is quadratic equation and now we solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula so here was we write the coefficients of this equation and now we denote the coefficients of this equation by capital letters of abc so we have the value of capital a is 1 the value of capital b is minus 4 and the value of capital c is equals to plus 8
and now here uh, we we will just uh, use a quadratic formula and it is stated as c is equals to minus b plus minus uh, a square root of b square minus 4 times of ac and it is divided by 2 times of a so that now we need to substitute the values of uh, a b and c in this uh, uh, algebraic in this quadratic formula and it will be written as c equals to minus b the value of b is minus 4 so minus times of minus becomes plus 4 and plus minus square root of b square b is minus 4 and minus 4 square is 16 and 4 times of a is 1 and c is 8 so 4 times of 8 becomes 32 and it is divided by 2 times of a and a over a is 1 so 2 times of 1 becomes 2 okay so we need more simplifications here and we again write this as c equals to 4 plus minus square root of minus 16 and it is divided by 2 uh, and now in the next step we have a c is equals to 4 plus minus we know that the square root of 16 becomes 4 and the square root of minus 1 is iota and now here we need to break this fraction and we write this two separately on both of these terms so here you have this is 2 times of 2 is 4, 2 times of 2 is also 4. So we have the first two complex roots of the given equation are 2 plus minus 2 iota. These are the first two complex roots of the given equation. And now in order to find the other, uh, com uh, other roots, we need to focus on equation number 2 so that from equation number 2 we have. Now we copy down this equation here, c square plus 4c plus 8 equals to 0. Here we again apply the quadratic formula and we solve the this quadratic equation. So we have a equals to 1, b equals to 4 and capital C equals to 8 and we have small c equals to minus b plus minus uh, square root of b square minus 4 times of ac and it is divided by 2 times of a. So we need to substitute the values of a, b and c here and we have the value of b is 4 so it will be written as minus 4 plus minus uh, square root of b square, b is 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 8 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is also equals to 1. So further we have c is equals to minus 4 plus minus square root of 4 square equals to 16 minus 4 times of 8 becomes 32 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2. So here we have c is equals to minus 4 plus minus square root of minus 16 divided by 2. Uh, and now uh, when we uh, need to expand this square root it will be written as minus 4 plus minus. We know that a square root of 16 is 4 and square root of minus 1 is iota. So here again we break this fraction. And after cancellation, we have 2 times of 2 is 4, 2 times of 2 is also 4. So this equation implies that c is equals to minus 2 plus minus 2 iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation. It means that our given equation has total 4 complex roots. And this is the final answer. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.